Okay, um, hope this is up and running. My name is Dylan Payne, as you can kind of guess, and I have just learned how to capture game footage, so I thought, hey, why not uh, give this a go? I don't think I'm going to upload this, but on the off chance, hi, this is really just me um, seeing how the video turns out, what it sounds like, uh, if there's any lag. Um, I'm using XSplit, which is pretty damn cool, but uh, there's a few paywalls that stop you from really enjoying it. Uh, this, of course, is Age of Empires, the high-definition one that came out on Steam not too long ago. And it's... I really enjoyed it. I've always loved Age of Empires, but this is really, really something I am enjoying. And I've been enjoying for a long while, so much so that I even got some DLC. DLC for a game that's a... well, a two decades old now um, but yeah I've got um, I've got a few mods installed as well most mods in this game are um, uh, aesthetic uh, which is fine because I always like spicing things up but um, yeah this is really just going to be a standard game down the line uh, I might do a, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, let's stick with this, nothing fancy. Uh, I might do a, um, like a, a proper let's play, but for now, this is really just a test, unless it turns out okay, in which case, well, you're watching it, aren't you? Uh, one thing I can do, right off the bat. Let's see about there. I don't know how much or little is coming in through the headphones. Uh, yeah, so I played this game when it was brand new, back in the the 90s. And uh, I had already played through a friend's uh, place, uh, through a friend's computer, um, at their place, uh, the first game. And I particularly loved the map editor. I was like, whoa, you can alter stuff like that. Like, you can ch make your all your levels on your own. You can, um, later on I found out you could customize it if you really knew what you were doing. And this is back before the internet really could, um, really could offer you these advantage, these, um, this information. So you'd have to go and find it on your own. And, um, yeah. I adored it, but when I found out I could get Age of Empires 2, and it was like 10 times better, Christ, yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm definitely getting that, and I did, and I played it for days, weeks, months, years, it was just, at the time, my favorite game, I suppose uh, Final Fantasy 7 rivaled it for the PlayStation, but it wasn't really until Oblivion came out that I cared about a game as much as this. Um, I'm not quite sure why. I have tons of strategy games. I'm big into strategy games. Um, I like other games too. Not so much multiplayer games, but you never know. Right time, right place. Um, but let's say I'm gonna go five for now. Um, but as the as you play the game, it just it's so easy to manage. It's so simplistic, um, and it's so gratifying when everything's working great. Uh, I know there are some people who play it like they'd be playing StarCraft, you know, they'd be kind of every nuance 
and be tailored to get the most efficient gameplay possible. I couldn't do that if I tried. Um, I, I like just being set up in a match and then just uh, usually conquest. I'm not a big fan of the whole wonders victory uh, and who gives a shit about the timeline. I kind of liked regicide back in the day but that was kind of a neat feature. Of course these days a lot of these features are really antiquated but they're antiquated because games like this kind of set the tone first. Everything that came afterwards. Um, anyway, I'm playing the Italians, as you can see, and I'm, I think I'm fighting the Ethiopians. Both of these are new quotation um, civilizations that you can get with the uh, DLC packs. Um, and they're pretty yeah, all right. I like the Italians. I really like the Portuguese. They have a a sort of that reminds me. I should get my arse moving onto the feudal age myself. Um, they have a really good um, um sort of building. I think it's like the Fitahora or something like that, and it acts as a resource gatherer on its own that you don't need people so if you've already exhausted the map of a lot of supplies it gives you a small stream of uh, resources in which can be the difference between life and death later on if you're kinda of stuck in a, an endless cold war between different factions and the map has been exhausted because there's a few things you can do to get money I think Age of Empires 3 addressed this pretty well with um, things like uh, the... <laughs> I didn't invest Loom right away, Egypt. Um, well, I'm here a lot, a few more. <laughs> yeah, um, the plantations, for example, I thought were pretty cool, and the trade posts. That game doesn't get anywhere near as much like as others everyone always remembers this or Age of Empires 1 they never really cared too much about Age of Empires 3 but I liked it um, another game I liked that came out roughly about the same time as this uh, was Cossacks which I think was made almost as a response to this game they looked at what this could do and where's my guy where did you go? There he is. I'm just trying to find the base. That's about all this guy has for use right now. Um, but yeah, they looked at this and they were like, well, what can we do? And at the time, one of the big problems I found with this game was the unit cap. Now, they've changed that these days. Let's say you can get like 500 people on the map, but Cossacks back in the day, I think it was because it was a very simplistic engine they were using, they used thousands of people on the field. And when you can get an army right, it looks brilliant. Hold on, save myself some time. Good stuff. There he is. Oh, there's the uh, Ethiopians led by Zara Yagwib. Jesus, they're light years ahead of me. Um, When I play strategy games, I'm very on the defensive. Um, I like to sort of just turtle up and move forward. So in games like, say, the Dawn of War games, I love capturing all the strategic points one at a time. But then in... Um, Alright, got plenty of food. We build more houses. Uh, 
Um, but the downside is you need to be constantly moving. And as you can see here, I'm kind of... Eh, I'm not doing a great job of uh, keeping up on a timetable. Boom. Doo -doo -doo. But even if I were to lose this match, I still enjoy just playing it. And like I said, no one might, very few people might ever see this. Like, or maybe something's wrong with the um, with the uh, software I'm using. I don't know. This is like really early days for me. But I've got a lot of free time, and I spend most of it in front of the computer. So I thought, why the hell not? Why the hell not? And I'm playing a game that I'm can be sometimes very good at. Um, also, sorry about moving the camera like jankily around like this. It's just I like to dart about the map. Otherwise, I tend to forget something's there. Like him, for example. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll do. I need you guys upgraded more than then. And upgradation, upgradations, upgradations, upgrades are key. I really enjoy upgrading in these games. Um, I enjoy uh, research as a rule. I think that's one reason I like a lot of Paradox games, which, uh, when I found out about them first, particularly Hearts of Iron 2, oh my Christ. That was a game series I could get behind. Uh, I'll give one more farm. No, I'll separate. You can. How much? Yeah. Give one more. Um, Um, Christ, I don't remember what I was talking about. I'm going to ramble a lot. I'm just going to be like, ums, ums. Uh, yeah, yeah, this game's pretty good. Um... One game I liked that came out between this and uh, 3 was uh, Rise of Nations and the spin-off Rise of Legends, which not many people remember playing that game too much, which kind of sucks. Um, I thought it was a brilliant game. I still play it. I'll be probably playing it on this at some point. Um... I don't have Rise of Legends, but I can get that again. I just have to find it. Um, but it was very, very, very similar to this. It was a different, slightly different mechanics. But you played it for a few minutes, you're like, oh wow, this is like a slightly different version of Age of Empires. Oh, I think I was talking about the software. So, yeah. The software with this uh, XSplit seems to be pretty good. But it does have a lot of paywalls, and one of which is the resolution. The highest resolution is blocked off. Which sucks really, really, really badly. Um... But, of course, if you give them money, they will let you have it. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, they could be doing so much worse. Okay, I think I almost have enough wood now for blacksmith. They're about to hit the Imperial Age over there, and I'm still there trying to build a 